Hello, Tech Tosa, Mary Grace here. Today I'm going to go over a very cool app called Sora. Sora is a reading digital library app that allows you to borrow books and audiobooks from your school library. So first, I'm going to go over how to get to Sora and how to search, check out books, and return a book. Now the best way to get to Sora is through Classlink, and you can get to Classlink from our district website. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a web browser and we're going to type in hlpschools.org and once I get here, I'm going to go under students and under students I'll see class link right here. So I'm going to click on that and it will take me to this link which will lead me to the class link portal. So I'm going to sign in, remember you sign in just your username and your password uh, and then you sign in. Once you sign in, you'll see the Sora app right here. Okay, so we're going to click on Sora and get into Sora. Now once you're in Sora, you'll notice that there are some uh, very key icons at the very bottom. This one is home, and in home, you'll notice uh, the books that you already have checked out, if you checked out any, um, and anything, any suggested books that they might have for you. Explore are several different um, genres of books that you might um, be interested in. And you'll also notice at the very bottom some popular subjects uh, and it'll tell, you, it, it'll tell you how many books um, that you're able to search through. Okay, um, Here is Shelf and if I click on Shelf it shows me the books that I have already checked out. And I'll show you um, how to check out a book in a second. And then this is me right here. This is the information on um, everything that that is on you. For example, how, many, how much time you've read, how many books you've opened. Uh, you can also receive achievements. And if your school set up different achievements, um, I guess uh, rewards, they may let you know. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Explore. And at the very top, okay, you'll notice this right here. Search for a book. I'm going to search for a book and I can either type in a book that I'm interested in or I can click on advanced search. So I'm going to click on advanced search because there's a lot more I could um, see from here. So if we go under ATOS, let's say my school does AR, I'm going to click on ATOS levels and I'm going to select my AR level. So let's say I read from 2.0 all the way up to 5. I can add all of these levels so that uh, it'll show up for me. Okay. And then also I want to click on available books because there are going to be many books that you cannot check out yet because somebody else has checked it out. So you can either put those on loan or you can wait until it's available. Okay. So I'm going to click on available books so that I only see the books that I'm able to check out right now. Okay, and then um, if you want, you can also check out read-along books, and these are books that will be read out to you um, while you're looking at the book. So I'm gonna click on, so you can do that as well. So I'm gonna click on search. Okay, when you click on search, you'll notice um, all, all the books that you are able to check out based on your search. So these are all books within my uh, reading level. So let's say I want to read. click on the book and when I click on it it gives me a little more information about the book if you see here it tells me oh it's 2.9 book and if I want to borrow it I can actually borrow it or I can actually read a sample you know what I'm pretty sure I want this book so I'm gonna borrow it okay so I'm gonna click on borrow and it will actually open up for me so I can start reading the book so if I click on the book it looks like this and I can turn the page and on the right side and it'll start turning the pages for me. Okay, now this is not an, uh, a read-along book so it won't read to me but I can look at it as if I'm reading it in front of me, like a real book. Okay, so when you want to go back to Sora, okay, I'm going to click on close and now I'm back at Sora. I'm going to go to shelf. Remember we talked about shelf? These are the books that I've checked out already. I have um, different books here. Now you can also check out 
uh, and I'm not check out. You can also download the Sora app on your devices. So you can download Sora app on your iPads or your smartphones. And I'll show you what it looks like if you download it on your smartphone. So what you can do is um, when you're ready to return it, you're gonna click on options. Okay, so for any of these books, let's say I'm done reading fossils, I and mean, I want to return it because Remember, you only have three books to check out for two weeks, and after the two weeks is done, it'll disappear from your shelf. Now, if you're done with it, we recommend and we ask that you return the book so that it's available for somebody else. So I want to return this, okay? So I'm going to click on Options. When you click on Options, you can either open the book, you can renew the book. So let's say I'm getting closer to the due date and I'm not done with it. I want a few more days. You can renew the book once it gets closer to your due date. And you can also return the book. So here I'm going to return it because I'm done. And I'm going to click on return. Okay. Okay. Now another option that you have is this right here. You click on online only this will pop up download so here is showing me that the book is actually downloaded so if I don't have Wi-Fi access at the moment or if I'm going for a drive and I want to be able to read my book with my device I can actually download the book and read it through there so let's say I'm in the car I can open Sora and I can read this book even though I don't have internet access or Wi-Fi at the moment okay so remember if you click on download, um, it will download onto the current device that you're using right now. Okay? Now I'm going to show you what all of this would look like from your smartphone. Okay, so I have my phone up here uh, and I'm going to download the app ClassLink. So if you notice here, I downloaded ClassLink from my app store. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to sign into ClassLink. The well, first thing actually is you need to make sure that you search for the correct district. So I'm going to sign in and find Hacienda La Fuente and you'll notice that I found that and it shows up right there. Hacienda La Fuente, you'll see that, that um, symbol. And then I'm going to sign in with my username and my password okay? and then I'm going to click on sign in. Once I'm signed in, I can scroll and look for the Sora app. So I find it right here. I'm going to click on it. Remember, it's right here. And you'll notice, okay, that it's signing me in automatically. Okay, I don't have to do anything. I'm waiting for it to sign me in. And I'm going to be able to start seeing what I already um, have in my Sora so for example, I'm going to go to down here where it says shelf and see these are the two books that I've checked out. So I can open the book and straight from my screen I can start reading. Okay, I can read, I can turn the page by swiping. So I'm swiping and I'm turning the page and reading the book. Okay, isn't that a great resource? So that's how you can download the um, Class Link app to get into Sora, and from there you can start reading. Okay. If you have any questions, please contact any of our tech or you can ask your teachers, and we will be happy to help you.